What's up, my lovely people, and welcome back to another. This is sort of a different video, actually, that I'm doing. I'm doing sort of a commentary over a game that I play, and uh, this is sort of the first time that I've done anything sort of like this. But we are doing Demon Slayer Kimetsu no Yaiba, and I was gonna do some live commentary just over the actual video, but I figured that it would be better for me to just get my unadulterated reactions to me, you know, just fucking around in this game, and outright just, you know, getting my ass kicked by some Asian players, because, you know, if the fuckers got numbers in their names, you're gonna get your ass fucked up. <laughs> but yes, so I I don't know what the hell I'm doing here, to be honest with you. I forget to save my settings and the music is still going. That is one thing about this video game is that um is if you play the background music for a little too long, you could get copyright strike, and your boy does not want that. So we are just quickly turning down the background music volume so we can protect from uh, copyright sama. <laughs> But yeah, the, I actually uh, really do enjoy this game. Uh, I like to think I'm pretty good at it, but you guys really are not going to see uh, me being good at it for the first game because, well, you know, I'll just, y you'll see. I don't know why I've stopped, you know, functioning in this. You know, this is kind of, you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna wait for me to, uh, <laughs> to fucking, you know, do whatever I'm doing here. It is my birthday, by the way, guys, so I'm, I was checking birthday messages on my phone while recording this, so yeah, that's why my that's why my dumbass is doing this. Good lord, Racer, just freaking hit the button. Hit the close button, my guy. Come on. See, this is what you guys don't see. You don't see the little imperfections, you know. There we go. You finally learned how to use a controller. All right, let's get into this. Let's see you get your ass kicked by some Asians that are way better than you at this game. Yeah, good thing I had subtitles. Dude speaking enchantment table. But yeah, as you can see, I've got 67 wins here, but you can't see that anymore. <laughs> and yeah, this is just a normal little fighting game. It's a 3D fighting game. And as you can see, I get paired up with a, you know, a three-star guy who has 327 wins, and I, I, he's got the fucking, like, I don't even know, he's got the fucking, um, the Johnny Sins cock of wins, and I've got the limp dick of wins that needs to pop a Viagra, but yeah, let's get into it, he is fighting as Rengoku and Giyu, and I'm rocking the Nezuko and Rengoku, Nezuko is my main in this game. And, uh, I like to think I'm pretty good with her, but you will not see me being good with her in this first game. Alright, let's get into it. So they get a clash at the beginning, and then I rush, oh, but he catches me in the rush, but Rengoku saves me, and then he hits me with, you know, the big fire combo. And then we both rush at each other, but Rengoku, he's got that power, dude. His co this combo alone takes away half of the health, and I don't know why I ran away from him there. I could have gotten many an attack off, but yeah, this guy is very good player i mean as you can see he's got fucking three stars on his name and my ass doesn't know how to use meter so you know i just s switch that and i do take very like i do use the support a lot and that's how i score some of the wins on these but you gotta do what you gotta do you gotta you gotta be a little toxic you feel me on some britney spears type shit and then he gets saved by Giyu here. But I send him the Rengoku, but he automatically counters it because he is better than me. He's got a freaking Asian symbol in his name. That's pretty much just guaranteed for him to win. Forgive me, I don't actually know what symbol that is. That looks Japanese, but I don't want to be wrong. Please don't cancel me. All right, so back into it. For some reason, I keep hit him, trying to hit him with the freaking jump attack. And then I hit, th there's this weird thing that happens. I know that after they, um, I know that after they like get saved, I can um, dodge, I can like dash after them. But for some reason, whenever I try to dodge after them, it just doesn't freaking work. Like it, do like it sends me in a completely freaking direction completely opposite direction to where he is so I'm not really sure what's happening here but I try to go for a kick and then he just he gets the punish on me bad dude like he said he sent me flying up in there like a fucking water bottle in 2014 but I get him with one stock 
with that cheeky little Rengoku assist. And I'm thinking I'm the big dick on campus right here, just running around. I try to send Rengoku at him, but, you know, he's gonna... I try to get him with the crazy slashing. That's usually how I sometimes um, get people. They'll sometimes dash in before the crazy slashing can um, can finish, and then they'll just get hit by it. But this guy, you know, he's, he's God. He's God, you know. He's got the Asian symbol, and, you know, he's just gonna absolutely obliterate my ass. See, I got the combos going. I got half of his health. And then for, I send Rengoku at him. I do, I do need to learn how to, you know, prioritize meter. And I need to stop doing the thing where I go up and try to kick him. With Rengoku, you want to stay on the freaking ground. And I try to do it again. I mean, I hit him with the ultimate art level 3. That was a decent combo into it. I just canceled it and got him into it. And I'm thinking I'm big dick on campus. I hit him with that, I score the two stock, and I think I've got this thing in the bag, but I, dude, it, 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 it gets, it gets a little, it gets a little racist here. See, I'm, I, I was about to hit him with the crazy scratching to like, stop him there, and why do I keep going for that? He's gonna punish me every time. That's something I need to learn, and he gets me with this, and I'm pretty sure he's gonna hit me with, no, he didn't hit me with the ult. See, I get him with the... And that's the thing! I freaking did the dash at him, I was gonna continue a combo with the Rengoku assist, but there's sometimes where I hit the dash to, like, dash up after him whenever he's airborne. See, see, I got him there, but then he, he reads me, and I try to go for the crazy slashing again to stop him, and then for some reason I don't hit the block, and I hit the dash instead, and, I mean, I get him with the kick, that was pretty good punish. Not even gonna lie, but then I do some stupid shit. I, why do I do that every time? If I stay on the ground with Ren Goku, then I can easily freaking get it. I don't understand why I do that, but it's just something that makes my playstyle unique, I guess, or trash, as some people would say. And he completely just dodges over that. He hits me with it. He punishing me. He's sending me to Kingdom Come, dude. Like, and I'm gonna Kingdom Come all over myself. Why do I keep going up, dude? And then I try to hit him with it. That was so stupid, and I get punished. And this one slash with the level 3 Rengoku just sends me into fucking orbit. It was a good fight. It was a good fight. And I thought, you know, I thought this... I had big respect for this guy. I thought that we were gonna have another clean fight after this. And I, I actually really respected him. He was a pretty good player. I was surprised I got two stocks on him in the first place. But yeah, after this, I watched the little ending screen and I try to do a rematch with him. The motherfucker leaves. The coward just leaves. He doesn't, he, he's one of those motherfuckers to probably like roll out the chapstick and take a fucking bite. He's the type of motherfucker to say golly gee whenever something goes wrong. Motherfucker just left and didn't even give me a fucking rematch. I told myself I'm gonna clown on him in this YouTube video and he deserves it. This fucking clown did not rematch me and I fucking hate that he didn't do it. I always believe in rematches because I got something to prove in this game. But anyway, on to the next one. We got Akaza. Now, I suck at fighting Akaza players, but this guy, he was a, he was a really good Akaza player, don't get me wrong. And I try to hit him. I hit him with the Rengoku right at the gate and then I try to dodge at him, but then he hits me with that. Luckily, Rengoku's got good chip damage, and this guy's actually a really good player. I just get lucky sometimes here. And I, I don't know what happens. I dodge at him, and then, like, the player moves, and then I punish him here. And then, sadly, with Nezuko's um, combos, it's hard to dash after the person after they save themselves, but, you know, it's whatever. He punished me really hard there. I don't know what the fuck I was doing. I've got full meter. I don't even know, like, why I even did that. But I'm gonna waste meter on him now. And then for some reason, I call out Rengoku. I gotta call out Rengoku in the middle of my, um, things. But yeah, I get him again here. I'm pretty sure I take the stock. Yeah, I do. See, I got them combos going. I can punish people. But yeah. This was a really good match. Um... I need to stay- that's another thing I need to do. I always try to like push him back, but I need to stay in shield. I- it's better to get like... And then 
Oh, I thought my Rengoku was going to get him there. But then I, I think I'm going to punish him. See, what I need to do is I need to stop doing the jump up thing. I need to stop doing, trying to do the heal bash and just dash at him. See, it, it, it always works to my detriment. And then he just fucking doing acrobatics up there. Fucking spider manning his way out there. See, I get, I get him with this. I knew that he was going to dodge at me. And then he's gonna dodge in that. See, that's what I'm talking about. You can punish people heavy with the, um, with the crazy cutting or whatever it is. And then I get ah. Oh, you see, I thought I was gonna hit him with the, uh, um, with the ultimate there. I thought that I could get him and finish him off, get an easy two stock. But I do get him with the heel bash here, and then, but I don't get him there. And then I'm pretty sure I break his. Well, I try to break his shield. Akaz has got good combos, bro. And then I send Rengoku at him, I'm pretty sure. I knew that he was gonna hit. You can see that I'm just struggling to send Rengoku at him. And then, yeah, it's just, it's just, it's not going, it's not going too well in the train of Racer. But I get him with the Rengoku as he's running away. He didn't see that coming. Just like a blind girl on a porn set. Don't ever see anything coming. And I think. Yeah, he, he I, I think he fucking obliterates me here. See, I stay behind there, and then I hit him with the punish, which is actually, that's a, was a really good play, I thought, on my part. I knew he was going to dodge in there, so it was nice getting um, some combos in there with the crazy slashing. I know I've been calling it crazy cutting. That's one of um, uh, Inosuke's attacks in this game. And then I get my, I hit him with the ultimate level 3. And I think this kills him. That was a really good punish, I thought, on my part. Yeah, this does finish him. Nice. N Nezuko's got probably my favorite finish finisher in this game. And I freaking adore it. But yeah, we hit I hit him with the 3-1 stock. And look at them posting up. NBA Young Boy album looking ass. And then, yeah, this guy is actually a good player, and he doesn't run away from a match. He requested a rematch. Now, I am a firm believer in best two out of three. So, if I win two matches against you in this game, then I will automatically just leave, because I feel like I've, you know, I feel like I've, um, proved myself to you. It's a, I punished him pretty good there. I got a fucking, I circumcised his damage. Good lord, I need to stop going up. I, I'm so easy to read whenever I go up and I'm so easy to punish but the crazy scratching gets him and I think I'm gonna hit it with him hit him with it again but he gets me with that dude Akaza fro dude he this guy's good like he's a really good Akaza player I always admire Akaza players but yeah look at him go and I try to hit him with the punish there because I knew that I can punish him but why do I dodge out of that dude I'm trying I'm trying to be sneaky and switch it up on him and do stuff that he's not used to seeing from me there's also a stupid thing that I do whenever I get low on health and I try to punish somebody with a uh... see I get him there and for some reason I don't follow up on it and I get him there again but he falls to the fucking ground and then I waste my meter but then I hit him with Rengoku And then I get him again, honestly, and I, I thought that that was pretty good. And then I ch he, I, and I knew he was gonna do that, so I went for the easy punish there. That was a really good play on my part. That was a really close um, second match there. Sorry guys, my for some reason my audio cut out. If you hear a little cut in the audio here, but anyway, yeah, I was saying I sound like I fucking like I should be at AGDQ with this commentary. Even though they do way better commentary than me. And I try to punish him. And I knew he was going to hit me with that. That was honestly a good attempt at a punish. Not even going to lie. I try to hit him with the Rengoku. I get stingy with my Rengoku sometimes. And for some reason I dropped the dodge even though I had a perfectly good amount of dodge. But luckily Nezuko falls. And I don't... He, he dodges in and I just am able to punish. But I, I have to build up meter here. And I know in this game there's an easier way to like build up your meter like quicker. But do I know how to do it? Fuck no. 
hit him with the Rengoku again. I think. See, I try to punish him there, but he punishes me. God, I hate it. Whenever you fail to punish somebody in this game, like, you just look like such a twat. And there you go. Yep. He gets stuck on me. Yeah, this, this last match gets pretty heated toward the end. We're both pretty evenly matched, I gotta say. And then I break his shield here. Hit him with that. And then I get him with the Rengoku a little bit. Stay in your shield! You don't have meter, what am I doing? See, for some reason I dropped my shield. I try to hit him with an attack, but I dropped my shield. And I send out Rengoku again. And I knew he was going to drop his shield, so I, so I had to go in and punish just a little bit. Get a little racist on him. I thought that I could... I, I knew that he was going to dodge, so I thought that I could get him in there with that little kick attack. But I get him with the crazy... Um, the crazy scratching. And he he hits me with the ultimate. And I felt... So, that I thought that that was a really good play there. By this guy. ZMLK, I think his name is. He was a really good player. That was good. Ox has got a really cool ult in this. But yeah... He thinks he has it in the bag, and I'm pretty sure I make a little comeback. Damn, he is just... He's eating my ass right now. I try- I go for the jump attack every single time. I, yeah, th that's petty. What I did there was very, very petty. But I knew that he was going to go for an attack like that, and I had the level 2, so I just thought I'd spend it. I know, petty. That's not what a pro player would do, but that's what a petty player does. And then that gets me sort of the high ground advantage there. He's going to dodge it. Yep, I fought. I mean, for some reason, I could have continued the... I could have continued it. You can see me just spamming the LB, trying to get Rengoku out here to save my ass. And he hits me with it. He gets this game. Actually, does he? It's only a level two. I think he does, yeah. Oh no, he doesn't. All right. He gets me with that, but I hit him with uh, fucking nothing, apparently. See, I knew, and dude, I got that. I thought that I was done for in this. So it's all tied up. Dude, this match is insane. It's all tied up here, uh, and let's get to it. Be smart, me. I'm not gonna be smart. See, I get a nice little punish in there. I get a little combo cancel. Hit him with the cr hit him with that again. I need to learn how to incorporate Rengoku into my freaking combos. Sorry for the lagging video, guys. My game recording software isn't really the best. Actually, no, I think it's the the game connection actually I hit him with the nice cheeky little Rengoku punish he goes in again and then I hit him with nothing I hit him with absolutely fucking nothing because I forget that Akaza can easily block that he was done with his combo and I thought that I could punish him but I think it actually gets pretty close here like he oh no I hit him with the kick and that ends it dude Holy shit, and me in my typical fashion, as I said, I've won two out of the three times that we could have played, so I just considered myself the winner, and I just, I just quit. It didn't look like he, usually it shows that he um, does a rematch, so I just quit and returned to the online menu. But yeah, my boys, that has been me showing off just a little bit of my... Hinokami Chronicles playing, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, I didn't even realize I hit 69 wins. That's nice. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little video of me just, you know, just showing you guys how bad I suck at fighting games. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have been Racer, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.